Thank, thank you all very much. What, what a, an incredibly warm welcome for that. And listen, Jonathan, I want to thank you. Where, where did Jonathan go? Thank you, man. You want to throw the ball to me? Let's, we'll, we'll play some catch up here. We're, 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 all right. Who, who wants it? Thank you, Jonathan. And, and he has more. If you want more, we'll, we'll fire balls off all day. Uh, but, but thank you for being here. Jonathan, thank you. I thank Texas Values for what you do. You know, you were talking in the introduction, in a way about all of us as leaders, about an ability that we have, and I will say a responsibility that we have, to honor God. I know that you all surely have experienced what I have experienced in life, and that is there are moments in our lives when you see that God is using you to fulfill a purpose that God wants to have achieved. And I can recount multiple moments like that, but maybe one of the highlights is when I was serving as Attorney General, as Jonathan was mentioning, and we had that incident where an atheist was walking across the Texas Capitol grounds and asked a federal court to strike down and to eliminate the Ten Commandments monument that stands on the Texas Capitol grounds. And I said, not on my watch, as the Attorney General, would I allow the Ten Commandments to be torn down. That case went all the way to the United States Supreme Court, and I argued that case before the Supreme Court. And I gotta tell you, if you've never done it before, it's a far more daunting task than what you may know. Interestingly, there were two cases before the Supreme Court that day for the oral argument. One from Texas, one from Kentucky. The Texas concerned a Ten Commandments monument on our Texas Capitol grounds. The Kentucky case involved a Ten Commandments display in a school. I argue the case for Texas, and uh, the Attorney General in, in Kentucky are the case for Kentucky. The decisions came out the same day. Kentucky lost five to four, but Texas won five to four, and that monument still stands on the Texas Capitol grounds today. The reason why that is important is so that everybody who walks across the Texas Capitol grounds and they see the monuments that, that Texas recognizes as having played a role in shaping who we are, everyone will know the role that God has played in the lives of Texans from the very beginning. Well, today is a celebration. It's a celebration of Texas values and what we do to support those Texas values. But momentarily, I'm going to be signing a law that also adds to the pro-life laws that we passed this session. And so in addition to it being a celebration, it's a day of unity where we are uniting all different groups in the state of Texas who support the cause of pro-life in Texas. Those groups include Texas Values, Texas Catholic Conference of Bishops, Texans for Life Coalition, Alliance for Life, Susan B. Anthony, Texas Right to Life, and Concerned Women for America, all of which work tirelessly to promote the values that keep Texas the most exceptional state in the United States of America. You know, when you think about it, there's so much that really sets Texas apart from other states in the country. Texas, for example, consistently leads the nation with regard to economic growth. In Texas, we support 
our law enforcement officers. We don't disrespect or criticize. And Texas is the best state to live in, to work in, to start a business, and to raise a family. But what truly sets Texas apart, the foundation for all of these other successes, is our unwavering commitment to faith, to family, and to freedom. You know, while, while some states in America have turned their backs on these values, Texas has fortified those values, thanks in part to all the people in this room today and the organizations you all represent. We're in church. Hopefully you won't mind if I quote from the Bible. In Paul's letter to the Galatians, he reminds us, let us not grow weary of doing good. In due season, we will reap if we do not give up. I speak for many people in the state of Texas when I say that we are grateful for your persistence to never give up in upholding our values and all that the state has achieved because you have never given up in your fight for our values. Just for example, just during the time that I've been governor, we have made tremendous strides every year to keep Texas the best state for faith, for family, and for freedom. Whether it's protecting the unborn, or upholding religious liberties and other fundamental foundational elements of the United States of America. Take, for example, the First Amendment. We all believe in our freedoms and we all believe in what's guaranteed to us in our Bill of Rights. And a Bill of Rights begins with the First Amendment and that includes the freedom of religion. And yet, and yet, despite that guaranteed right, we have seen during the course of the pandemic that there are some leaders in this state, other leaders in this country, that chose to close churches and to shut off God Almighty during the time of a pandemic, and maybe during a time that we needed God the most. And so in Texas, we passed a law to prohibit any government official at any level from ever shutting down churches in Texas. And we're going to give you a say in it also because we also passed a resolution creating a proposed constitutional amendment that you will be able to vote on this November, enshrining in the Texas Constitution the prohibition of anybody ever shutting down churches in Texas. Go vote. Make it part of the Texas Constitution. Now, surely you know that there's another element contained in the First Amendment, and that is the freedom of speech. And yet, despite the guarantee of freedom of speech, we have seen time after time when we see these big tech social media giants censor viewpoints that they disagree with. In the past, there was nothing to stop them even from silencing religious viewpoints that they don't like. But, not anymore in Texas. I recently signed a law that makes it illegal for big tech media platforms to censor Texans simply because of their political or religious viewpoints. But I think it's clear that the most important freedom of all, obviously, is the right to life. And even as we can all understand the imperative of the right to life, there are still millions of children 
who lose their lives to abortion every single year. We as Texans will not accept that, which is why we as Texans stepped up and passed multiple laws this session to do more than Texas and more than any other state has ever done to protect innocent unborn lives. As Jonathan mentioned, we passed the heartbeat bill to ensure that every unborn child with a heartbeat will be saved from the ravages of abortion. I also signed the trigger bill that ensures that the moment that Roe versus Wade is overturned, that will become law in the state of Texas. Then finally today, in just a few moments, I'll be signing another pro-life law. Importantly, it is a bipartisan bill that further protects innocent life. As you all know, earlier this year, the Biden administration temporarily lifted restrictions on abortion-inducing drugs, allowing them to, to be delivered by mail during the pandemic. There's an effort to make that permanent. We will not allow that in the Lone Star State. That's why I'm about to sign a law that bans mail-order abortion drugs in Texas. Once again, I want to thank all of the pro-life groups in the state of Texas for everything that you did to get this bill to my desk. And that includes Texas Values, Texas Catholic Conference of Bishops, Texans for Life Coalition, Alliance for Life, Susan B. Anthony, Texas Right to Life, and Concerned Women for America. Now, before I sign this law, I want to first invite up two legislative leaders who played intricate, very important roles in, in making sure that this bill reached my desk. One is Senator Eddie Lucio, and the other is Representative Stephanie Clare. Hi there, everyone. Thanks so much for sticking with us here on KXA and Live. Will Dupree in the KXA and Live studio. Again, this is an event here in Austin that Governor Greg Abbott just provided remarks about. Senate Bill 4, he's going to sign that into law in just a few moments. We have more information about it over on our website, kxan.com. In the trifecta or the Super Bowl for the pro life movement, with so many big bills, uh, and this one is the icing on the cake. Uh, because we're shutting the back door to mail order abortion. And that icing on the cake is birthday cake, a whole lot more birthdays that will be had. So, thank you. as I sign this bill in the wall.
Mail order abortion drugs are now prohibited in the state of Texas. Thanks for sticking with us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live studio. A live image again from this event that's happening in Austin. Governor Greg Abbott wrapping up his remarks by signing Senate Bill 4 into law. Uh, this particular bill will limit the use of abortion medication after a seven-week period and prohibit sending these particular drugs through the mail altogether. Uh, Republicans who largely backed this particular legislation say that it will protect women's health. Uh, however, Democrats and uh, pro-choice activists think this seven-week ban will push women who want an abortion to seek it elsewhere without supervision, perhaps. Uh, this is the latest abortion restrictions passed in uh, Texas, the previous one happening Earlier this month, uh, Governor Greg Abbott signed the bill into law known as the Heartbeat Bill. And what it does is that it prevents and bans abortions uh, when there is fetal cardiac activity detected. That's usually around six weeks into pregnancy. Um, and what experts say is that it's a time when most women don't even know that they are pregnant. Um, our political team is covering this particular event as well as collecting reaction to the bill uh, being signed into law today at this event in Austin. We have more information about it over on our website, kxan.com, and on the KXAN News app that you can download right now on your smartphone if you haven't done so already. We thank you all again for watching our stream. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live studio. We'll see you back here another time. Please, everyone, have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. Take care.